contrast here is interesting for it shows the variety of people who came to Jesus for help. The man's name is given, Jairus, but this woman remains anonymous. Jairus was a wealthy leading citizen, but the woman was a lowly person who spent all her money trying to get healed. Here was a man interceding for his child and a woman hoping to get help for herself and both came to the feet of Jesus. Jairus had been blessed with 12 years of joy with his daughter, and now he might lose it. While the woman had experienced 12 years of misery because of her affliction, and she was hoping to lose it with the help of Jesus. 12 is an important number in the lives of these two individuals. The number 12 is found 187 times in the Bible. Through its use alone, it would seem significant. The places we find it in the Old and the New Testament assert its importance and hints at its meaning. Here are 12 instances when the number 12 is used in Scripture. For example, we have Jacob had 12 sons. These 12 sons became the 12 tribes of Israel. Moses sent out 12 spies. Elijah built an altar of 12 stones when he called fire down from heaven. 12 minor prophets are in the Bible. God specified that 12 uh, uh, cakes of bread be placed weekly in the temple. Jesus' first words are recorded at the age 12 when Mary and Joseph found him in his, quote, father's house. Jesus had 12 disciples. When Jesus fed the 5,000, 12 baskets were filled with leftovers. When Peter cut off the soldier's ear defending Jesus, Jesus rebuked him, saying he had the power to call down 12 legions of angels. The New Jerusalem had 12 gates and 12 foundations, according to Revelations 21 and 12. And the tree of life will bear 12 fruit crops, 12 times a year, according to Revelation 22. One of the symbolisms of the number 12 is foundation. Could it be that for 12 years, God was allowing the building of the foundation on which uh, these two individuals' faith would have to stand on at this particular moment in their lives? 